What's going down, people? How you doing? This is TK coming at you. Today, I got to hit you guys with uh, important but yet close to the heart topic, and that is <laughs> access control within our society. You know, um, think about money. Think about what you have been taught from your early years till now. Because one thing that can be uh, stated is that most people don't understand, have a clue what money is. Think about <clears throat> your concept as you've been taught or what you internalize as what money is. And then after you come to a conclusion and you're pre-thought, explain it to someone else. Explain it to a four-year-old in terms of what money is. Because if you think about your lack of understanding and you just reflect on the results in society, one thing that can be said is that we live within a pay to exist planet. And what everyone can see, even if they can't explain it, is that there's limited access and there's engineered scarcity built into the system so th to the degree that you fall within that access or scarcity dictates your empathy or lack of empathy towards everyone else and the people who are victimized the most with no access to uh, finances and see the uh, effects of scarcity in their environment, those people are the ones who have the most stress on them. In other words, they are the ones that suffer in the vice grip and can clearly fight for what other people have equal access to or have more supply and access within their environments. So there's an unequal scale of financial resources within the society that's engineered in scarcity and preset in terms of access. So what is the answer to engineered scarcity and uh, limited access? Because that's the primary pressure when we exist in a pay to participate planet. If you have to pay to participate in this planet, and you are victimized with limited resources and scarcity, then how do you not feel the pressures of not being able to participate the same way other people can participate? Especially when those effects are in your face, even if you can't internalize or conceptualize what caused those effects. So this is what we see playing out within our society all across the country, all across the world. People with limited access feeling the results of not being able to pay to live in society. So everyone justifies that engineered scarcity and limited access with the fact that the person is not doing enough. When the truth is, if you're victimized by that inherent flaw, you have to work 30 times harder just to get the same access that someone else has. And if that person is not strong enough to work 30 times harder to get the same access, then they fall even more victim into negative consequences and choices. And that's what we see playing out with people who don't have access. That's what we see playing out with people who have 
scarcity in their environment. So what I'm saying is there is a solution. A solution to the problem is to step out of the pre-built engineer scarcity and limited access in fiat money and advance yourself in the 21st century to the new money. Now, some people don't know and don't realize and don't even accept that there is a new money. A lot of people don't even transition their uh, thought process to the concept of the financial shift in the economic world has already happened. This is not maybe. This is a factual reality where the economic shift as of 2008 already happened. We have a problem within fiat currency. It is over manipulated, over printed, over uh, uh, circulated. And the architecture of our monetary system is a top up pyramidal system where the money funnels to the top and nothing trickles down to the bottom. So the, the, the limited access and engineered scarcity is in the fact <coughs> that the way the structure is set up, the pyramid keeps the money at the top. So people at the bottom of the pyramid support the top, but not through financial participation. So the issue is in 2008, because of the volatility within paper money and the nature of how the uh, uh, financial markets are manipulated, a new phoenix rose from those ashes and that new money of the 21st century is what people need to use to financially empower themselves and step out of the engineered scarcity and limited access. You need to change your life. You need to change your life by participating in the new money of the 21st century, which is secure digital tokens that are uh, 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 transmitted between peer to peer or person to person through the internet. That's what came out of 2008. What came out of 2008 is cryptocurrency, which is simply online money that's secure trans, uh, transmission between two people. So the new money of the 21st century is cryptocurrency. What people fail to freaking realize <coughs> is that cryptocurrency can change your life. Bitcoin has the power to end poverty because engineer scarcity is removed. Limited access is removed. So you can't or you don't or you uh, don't know how to find a way to make money within paper. You don't even know how to break through the engineered scarcity that's designed in the system. All you know is you're a victim of not having enough, not being able to participate the way other people participate. So how do you change your life? How do you create change? You have to get into the new system. You want to empower yourself financially. You want to remove the chains that involve debt. You want to create a salary for yourself. Everybody says, I need jobs. We need jobs. Well, no, no one is taught to need a, 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 a company. No one is taught to create a situation where you engineer your own salary. No one is taught how to create a business. So think about that. Everybody says they need jobs, which simply says you need financial access to money. That's what you're saying when you say you need a job. You're saying that you need a salary. So what I'm saying is find that job through making a salary for yourself in the 21st century's new money that rose out of the ashes from 2008 and now you can empower yourself financially with equal access in 
cryptocurrency. I'm saying that you can give yourself the opportunity to create a salary in Bitcoin. I'm saying that the engineered scarcity and the limited access that you're victimized with in paper money changes when you get in cryptocurrency. I'm saying that if you don't have a fucking job that you can create an income in Bitcoin. I'm saying that Bitcoin can change poverty and fix the problems within paper. I'm saying that communities could re-engineer success in finances just by participating in Bitcoin. I'm saying that Bitcoin gives you the power to create a Swiss bank account on your cell phone and have the same power that a bank has, but now you are the fucking bank. So I'm saying that you want to change your life financially, create an income, create a salary. Get a fucking job in Bitcoin by making Bitcoin work for you. I'm saying that the future has already happened in the financial world and that the way you can participate in it is to get Bitcoin and then make Bitcoin get a fucking job working for you. That is how you empower yourself. That is how I make $200 a day in Bitcoin. That is how I currently make half of my fucking salary at work here, but I do it online in Bitcoin. Now, everybody says, well, I don't see how to do that. I don't see how to empower myself. Well, it's easy. All you have to do is fucking choose to participate. Now, I'm very passionate about this because everybody complains about not having enough access within this society. Everybody complains about not being able to pay to live like other people live. So if you want to fix your financial problems and you want to change your life, what you have to do is choose to participate in the new money of the 21st century, which is cryptocurrency. And Bitcoin is the very first cryptocurrency ever created. So what you need to do is to fucking make Bitcoin work for you. Get a goddamn clue. Get to the point where you participate in the new economy by making Bitcoin work work for you. It's very easy. All you have to do is take this paper money that's losing value every fucking day and convert it to Bitcoin, which is a digital form of currency, and then make that Bitcoin get a fucking job by putting it in Bitcoin investment banking opportunities. That simply means that the bank that is Bitcoin that you participate in is gonna copy the same thing that paper fucking banks do. They take your money from you, they multiply it, but a traditional savings account today gives you less than 1% back every year. Well, in Bitcoin investment banking, they're gonna take your Bitcoin from you, they're gonna multiply it, and they're gonna give you anywhere from 2% to 4.75%, and that's not every year, that's every fucking day. So that financially is enough for you to change your life, participate within the economy, and then you have a debit card to access your Bitcoin so that you can spend it just like you spend paper money. So I'm giving you a fucking solution to fix poverty within the, the entire world because Bitcoin puts you into a global community of financial access. It's no longer limited to a country, a specific location. Okay, it's a online community of digital tokens that are secured and transmitted between two people. That's what Bitcoin is. So get past the, the, the stupidity. Empower yourself through participation in Bitcoin. There's only three fucking steps. Take paper money, convert it to Bitcoin, take Bitcoin, put it in a Bitcoin investment bank, then monitor that investment every 30 days or 90 days so that you continue to get paid.